maximum governance. Honorable Speaker, sir, this is the last of the six pillars. This will outline plans for reforms in one of our core principles of minimum government, maximum governance. We have taken a number of steps to bring reforms in tribunals in the last few years for speedy delivery of justice. Continuing with the reforms process, I now propose to take further measures to rationalize the functioning of tribunals. We have introduced the National Commission for Allied Healthcare Professionals Bill in Parliament. National Commission for Allied Healthcare Professionals Bill in the Parliament. With a view to ensure transparent and efficient regulation of 56 allied healthcare professionals. Additionally, to bring about transparency, efficiency, and governance reforms in the nursing profession, the National Nursing and Midwifery Commission Bill will be introduced by the government for passing. To have ease of doing business for those who deal with government or CPSCs and carry out contracts, I propose to set up a conciliation mechanism and mandate it its use for quick resolution of contractual disputes. This will instill confidence in private investors and contractors. Honorable Speaker, sir, the forthcoming census could be the first digital census in the history of India. For this monumental milestone marking task, I have allocated 3,768 crores in this year, 21-22. Honorable Speaker, Goa is celebrating the Diamond Jubilee Year of the state's liberation from Portuguese rule. From the Government of India's side, I propose to grant 300 crores to the Government of Goa for the celebration. I propose to provide 1,000 crores for the welfare of tea 